Hey guys, before we jump in this video, I wanna give you another heads up. If you're interested in any of the equipment I use in these videos, there are links down in the description. Now they are affiliate links, and all that means is if you click on one of those links and buy that item through it, then I get a small kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's basically just a small commission. Just one way that helps me produce these videos. So thank you so much for your support. And I also want to say to the new viewers, thank you for watching and hopefully you like this video. And if you do, consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. Now in the past, I've done a video with the same exact haircut and I got a lot of great feedback. So I'm hoping that you guys like this video. I think it will be good because this client has darker hair so you can see the blend more. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. We got mullet man here. So today we're gonna do, he's got a burst fade on the sides and then uh, we're letting the back grow more. It's kind of a mullet, but he's also doing a hard part with a comb over. I've done one other video like this, but I think it would be kind of cool with his age and the hair type. So he's got a lot darker hair than my other client. So you'll be able to see the fade a lot more. So because he's doing a hard part, I wanna wet his hair first and get the part right, just the top. And when you part your client's hair, try to part on the side where his calic leans to, um, and then part into the calic. A lot of people make the mistake and they'll part on the opposite side. And that's when you have calic issues and hair sticking up. And you always want to comb through your hair, the client's hair. And here we're going to do the burst fade. So the first thing we do is we're going to set our bald line in. And then we're going to come right behind his ear. And here you want to use your corners because it's such a tight area. Don't put your whole blade in there. And then before we go to fade, we're gonna set the other guy line in on the other side to make sure everything's even. Chin up a little bit for me. All right, now we're gonna debulk before we start blending up. I have my wall one and a half guard and I'm just gonna go up and you don't want to dig into the ridge, you want to go straight off the ridge. And you also want to try to keep the shape of the fade. Behind the ear is always the trickiest part. That's why you gotta use your kind of corners and make sure you take your time with it. And we'll debulk the other side. All right, once we debulk, 
We're gonna start blending up. I like to blend up and I also like to take most of my lines out as I go. So, and I use a brush um, and that brushes away any of the, the hair I've already cut. So here, it's gonna be a no guard lever open and we're just gonna go up about a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch. And again, kind of use your corners because um, you wanna keep this shape. If you keep the shape of the blend all the way up, that's when, you know, that kind of burst, burst fade style comes in. Now we're going to close our lever and we're going to take out this line here. Again, we're using corners. A lot of it is just playing with your lever here, opening, closing, to get the right length as you kind of blend. All right, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll go back and kind of detail. So next we're gonna take our one guard lever open and set another guideline in. About a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch. You could probably get away with doing about three, three quarters of an inch going up. And because we debulked with our one and a half wall guard, there shouldn't be a major line up here. And then close the lever and we're gonna soften this line up. Now I'm just kind of playing with my lever, cleaning things up. Now this line won't go, we won't get rid of this totally until we grab our half guard. Now we're gonna grab our one and a half guard again and there's a couple areas we need to touch up. And for some reason with the wall one and a half guard, sometimes it doesn't cut. You kinda have to reposition your clipper, um, go across the grain. Now we're gonna work our way back down. So grab the one guard again, lever open. Use your corners. It might not look like I'm using them, but that's all I'm using. Kind of clean everything up. Now the half guard. Now this is when we're gonna to try to get rid of that last line here. And I'm gonna start about lever halfway open, just using my corners. Now let's open it all the way up, the lever. And we're gonna go a little higher. And it should blend right into that one. And if it doesn't totally, that's okay. We'll go back with our one guard and, and get rid of the rest of the line. How's your girlfriend, dude? No? No? Oops. So this is the one guard. We're gonna clean up kind of that bulk up here a little bit. But we're pretty close to being uh, finished with the blend. We're just gonna kind of detail it. Um, and you wanna make sure you check your mirror for any kind of lines or anything. All right, so down here we still have a little bit of a line, so we're gonna do no guard lever open, and we're just gonna detail now with um, playing with our lever, anything we gotta do. All right, we're gonna grab our half guard.
And here, don't worry about all this weight here. We're gonna go back in and use shear over comb or you can do clipper over comb, whatever you prefer. Sit nice and straight for me, dude. All right, now it's basically done. Now we just gotta do it to the other side. To the other side. All right, now we gotta do the top. We got both sides blended in. Um, we're just gonna trim here, but we gotta put the part in and we're gonna shear over comb to blend the rest in. Do you want the two lines again on this side? Sure. And then we're gonna just do two, two little lines on one side. So here you wanna get the hair nice and wet. Um, and a lot of times once I get it um, good and saturated, I'm gonna put the part in just so I know where it's at. And here I just kind of tap it in. I'm not trying to make the part as big as I want it because when you go back through with your razor, your part will widen more. So you gotta keep that in mind. So here we're just kind of getting our baseline. Now what I like to do, I think a lot of people, what they make the mistake of is they start cutting the hair and going back. And what happens is this is the highest point of your head back here. And as they do it, the back hair gets a lot longer than the front hair. So if you kind of part it here and you start on the side, get the back where you want it. And then you straighten it out. And then when you pull it up, it's technically level, but the back's gonna be shorter because this is the highest point. And then you wanna come over and trim it all up. So like I said, we're not gonna take much off. Hold your head nice and strong for me. Here we're just kind of taking a lot of that bulk off so we can do the clipper over shears. Fairly easy to blend it in. All right, now what we're gonna do is the rest here, you wanna shear over comb it, but go straight off the head, don't dig in. I know it might be hard for you guys to see on this side of the head, so I'll show you more on the other side. All right, back here, we're just gonna a lot of it, as the hair gets longer, it's harder to, to really blend. So here we just want to um, blend it as best we can. But once you kind of comb it down, it'll, it'll look good. And when I show you the full haircut at the end, um, pay attention to how I kind of did it here in the back. All right. Now, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Now here we're gonna take it kind of short, you know, just so the edge looks good. Again, you wanna kind of come off the head. All right, same thing back here. You kind of want to just trim it up a little bit. You don't have to necessarily blend it a lot, but um, as soon as you kind of comb it down, it'll, it'll look blended. All right, so now we're gonna kind of just line them up and then we're gonna double check everything, make sure everything's blended, there's no lines. Look towards me a little bit. I always have my client look and then have them look straight at the chest. 
You also want to make sure they relax their eyebrows and not um, rise them because that'll shift the whole skin. And then when you comb the hair out of the way, don't stretch the skin up, kinda. Just let it, let it fall natural. And here I'm not digging into his line, I'm just getting kind of the longer hair. And because of his age, he has a lot of peach fuzz on his uh, forehead. So we're kind of just cleaning that all up. And then he wants to do two small lines here. So what I'll do is turn your head that way a little bit, right there. Is I'll do the top one a little longer and then the bottom one a little shorter, just like that. And here again, you don't have to worry about putting the line in too thick because when you bring the razor through it, it's gonna um, widen that line up more. Perfect, all right, look straight. All right, look this way a little bit. Now we're gonna do the other side a little bit. Perfect. Now we're gonna grab our straight razor. All right, now we're gonna clean up this part here. Again, try to use your corners here. Stay. You good? Hold your head strong for me. Here when you do these lines, you don't want to you have to stretch his skin, but you don't want to stretch it too much because then it um, kind of deforms the shape, you know. Take your time with it. Just like that, and then we're gonna clean up his edge up here. All right, now let's kind of blow them up. We're gonna style it, and that's basically the cut. Um, here in a minute, I'll show you all the way around the head. If you guys enjoyed this haircut, um, like and subscribe. And if you need any of the clippers I'm using or tools I'm using, there will be links in the description. They are affiliate links, so that I get a little kickback. Nothing major, though. So I really appreciate all the support, guys. Look straight for me. So as I style it, start kind of at the part and the calic area. And then with the comb over, you always want to start at the part as you're styling it. And you could even tell your uh, clients to do this. Start at the part and the calic, and then you want to comb everything to this point. And what that does is most people's hair, that's how that wants to lay. And then the calic, you want to kind of, you know, comb it down how it wants to lay. And then you kind of take the front, and then you can kind of style it up. And 
here. I always like to style my clients' hair because once you style it, you can see areas that you might have missed. So like here, there's a couple things I gotta clean up. Nothing major, but. And that's basically it, guys. All right, again, thank you for watching. We will catch you in the next video.